Hey everyone, it's Alina from XM8 Mastery. Today we're going to talk about how to export and import ESX files for the online version of Xactimate. 911 Restoration asked a great question on one of my videos, so I thought I'd go ahead and cover this topic today. Let's go take a look. Most of you are probably familiar with the different types of Xactimate, but I wanted to clarify what I mean by the online version. So the desktop version that I have loaded here, this is loaded onto my laptop. I can disconnect from Wi-Fi, go anywhere I want to write an estimate. If you have the professional version, however, you also have access to the desktop and the online version. So now you can see I have Xactimate Online open, and this is in a browser. I have to be connected to Wi-Fi or some other internet source in order to use the online version, and I cannot take this out into the field and work on it without internet connection. So that's the difference between the two. And there are some slight differences in the way that the mechanics of the program work. And one of those is how to export the ESX files or data transfer out a project here. So the easiest way to get a project out of Xactimate is to be here in your control center dashboard. So I've just logged in and I'm at my Control Center main tab and the sub tab is a dashboard. I can see the project here that I would like to export. So I'm going to right click on that project here in the project list and then I'm going to export the project. Now it's going to ask me where would I like to save this or if I'd like to open it. I just click save file and I'm in Firefox so this works a little differently than other browsers. So this step here, if you're in Safari or Internet Explorer, might be a little bit different. But basically, I usually try to save this file into a export file for my ESXs, or maybe just put it on my desktop if I'm going to send it to an adjuster real quick. But all I do is left-click OK, and it goes up here into my folder, and then I can left-click, hold, and drag, and drop that onto my desktop. And that's usually what I do to get the project out of Xactimate. Now there are two ways to get that ESX imported back into Xactimate Online. One of them is data transfer up here in the top right corner. You can just click on data transfer. We're going to look for it on a folder here on our laptop. And then I am going to browse for that ESX file. We're going to go here to my desktop and you can see I've got the Utah export that I want to open. I can click open there and that will filter in to the control center dashboard here you'll see that Utah export came in using the data transfer option is kind of the long way of doing this there is a shortcut and that is to load the ESX into a folder or onto your desktop here and then you can left click hold and drag that up here into your control center dashboard and that will allow it to be imported in one fell swoop so just left click hold and drag and drop that into your control center dashboard recent projects area and there we are I've got the new ESX all ready to be imported and I skipped about four steps by not using that data transfer section so whatever it makes you more comfortable whatever you're, it's easier for you to do those are two options uh, for importing the ESX this has been Alina Wilson with XM8 Mastery. Be sure to like this video and subscribe below for more tips just like this one. If you ever have any questions about Xactimate or a topic you would like me to discuss, please comment below. I love the feedback and I love answering your live questions. If you'd like to know more about XM8 Mastery, visit our website at www.xm8mastery.com. Hope you guys are having a great week in your business and we'll see you next week.